What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Zeke's Cast. I am your host, Zeke, from Zeke's Comics and Games. As you guys are watching this video today, it's kind of just showcasing a little bit about the store and a little bit about what we're into. So you're going to see a variety of products and things uh, like our miniatures and all sorts of stuff that's really cool to us. We've been basically really excited lately. We've seen a lot of growth in the store. We've seen a lot of incredible communities coming together, big events, and just overall a very big uh, upswing in attendances and just the overall health of the store. And we kind of wanted to shoot this video today just to kind of showcase the shop a little bit, some of the product lines that we carry. And uh, of course, of our new Pokemon mural that we got done in our game room. And mostly this episode is going to be discussing uh, kind of like talking geek retail. We're going to kind of do a call back to an old podcast I had a long time ago. I've mentioned to a few of you kind of talk a little bit about, you know, how did Zeke's come about and, uh, you know, what our mission statement is and what we're all about and kind of discussing, you know, things going on for the month. So I, I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. It's really important for me to kind of discuss with you guys. And it's also important for me to share uh, a lot of these uh, conversations with you guys. So hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, make sure you guys check us out on discord, check us out on Twitter, make sure you're following us on facebook.com slash CG and also uh, all of our other affiliates that we do that things with like, uh, for example, fat rabbit studios who did our Pokemon mural and also a special shout out to pokey dubs uh justin's done an incredible job with his youtube channel doing a bunch of amazing pokemon related things so i hope you guys check those out watch the rest of this little clip here and then we'll get right into the uh basically the podcast uh in a moment So like we said earlier, guys, after that clip, welcome to another Zeke's cast. And uh, today is just a really quick video discussing a little bit about the history of Zeke's comics and games, discussing kind of what the shop, I think, means to a lot of people and overall uh, just kind of discussing just in, in general business. So you're going to look at these clips here. This is from our recent Pokemon uh, case tournament that we ran for the Scarlet and Violet release. Uh, we had about 30 players that showed up, had a great day. It was from, I think, like nine o'clock in the morning till six or seven at night. It was really busy uh, in terms of just regular people walking into shop, but also a very good attendance that I felt uh, was really strong for the Pokemon trading card game community as a whole. So, yeah, so I'm really excited that we've been trying to do bigger events and getting more people in the door and uh, overall just focusing on trying to make things bigger for the community to look forward to to sink their teeth into and that's kind of what this event was for us and it, it was i think was a major success and we have some really big ones coming up this summer as well uh in terms of you know it being may obviously everybody knows about free comic book day and we all have our pokemon pre-release at the end of the month and we have almost every single weekend has miniatures uh events going on and obviously our normal stuff so uh, this clip here uh that picture that is from 2015 from the first store it's uh it was a game night teaching pokemon the trading card game it's kind of a memory lane kind of uh montage here uh coming up but yeah almost every i actually think everybody in that picture there's ryan in the batman shirt and uh this one's from our i think this pokemon one we're all zeke shirts we're at a regional uh down in collinsville illinois i think that was 2018 as a group, we all went. It was super fun. And a lot of those guys are still at the shop uh, almost every other day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we had a great time going down to Collinsville and spending time. Uh, there's another clip coming up here with another group of us at the first store with a Loki cutout. Uh, that's super cool. Uh, basically, a bunch of friends of mine came down from Minnesota to spend some time with us. And I kind of think that's what Zeke's is all about. It's like it's like this little family and friends uh, thing that has just gotten bigger and bigger. And 
you know, we really push the community mindset and the family mindset. And I think a lot of our success comes from people looking for that kind of enjoyment, looking for that, you know, safe place to be at. Uh, friends of mine, Sarah and Catherine here is Harry Potter. Uh, you know, people looking to come out to the shop and just have an experience and enjoyment. But I also have to give a special shout out to all these different people that are in this, uh, like my grandmother and my cousins here in this picture. Uh, you know, they were big supporters of us. Uh, what grandma was before she passed away. She did a lot uh, of backing me up. And my family overall has done a lot for me to keep me sane and keep me focused on the shop at hand. And to my best friend, Justin, that's in this picture with his eyes shut. And uh, my dad, who many of you know, passed away um, about a year ago, a year plus ago. So these are some of my biggest and most important people. Not everybody. My brothers should be in this. My sister, uh, my mom, obviously a, a bunch of other people I don't have pictures of in the shop. But these people all stood by us during COVID or stood by us when our low points or kept me sane when I was working 120 hours. And uh, yeah, and I think the Zeke's experience is just super important for a lot of people because I think they see the kind of work we're putting in and I think they have a special place that they can call home. And I think that's the power of a local game store is I think it gives you that opportunity to um, you know, have a lot of good friendships and a lot of good times that you don't get elsewhere when you just play from home and or uh, – maybe not enjoy the places that you're being at. So kind of discuss a little bit about Zeke's, you know, we started in 2015 in our first store in Washington. And I think I was at a point in my life where I was frustrated with my job, like many people are. And I felt like there was an opportunity here in the central Illinois area to really do a variety shop that blended comic books and miniature games and card games together but ultimately focused on a uh, experience-based community and focused on uh, customer service. And as simple as that sounds, you know, the idea was, you know, I was working for Red Bull at the time, wasn't very happy with my job, working endless hours. And I, I saw an opportunity when I moved in this area that was severely lacking in terms of something different for shops. I found that in Washington and Morton and surrounding areas didn't just have a shop that they could go to. Uh, they had to drive across the river to Peoria and there were already a few shops over there. And, you know, I felt like there was an opportunity here that we could do something really special. And it was always a life dream of mine to do something like this. Uh, I just didn't think it was going to happen as soon as it did. And and Miss Shelby, Miss Zeke, you know, she's the one that ultimately believed in what I was doing and saw the success and thought that it'd be great for us to move forward. Uh, you see a clip here of our second store where we moved six months in and yeah, Zeke's was only open to the first store for about six months. Then we grew way too big, way too fast. And uh, we moved into the second store in 2016, which was a really fun morning. Had a lot of people there that showed up. Uh, my dad was helping me uh, insisting on sweeping the floors and, you know, yelling at people for the sake of yelling at people to do stuff. But you know, the second store is kind of where we started to stretch our, you know, wings out a little bit. We started to expand more into board gaming and miniatures before uh, the first shop. We really just mostly card games, new comics uh, focused. And so at the second store, we were able to really just spend more time, I think, expanding upon the ideas that I wanted to do. You know, we were starting to see growth for the first time and starting to see that, like you see here, like all these different communities that started to grow and get bigger attendances and things that really helped us out. You know, it's really fun for me to go back through these uh, old photos. And I'm glad that I record things like this because you see where you came from and you see where you're going. And, you know, it's really exciting. But the point was, you know, you think about Zeke's when we were designing the shop concept, uh, you know, I was I was originally wanting to do something with my name. And I thought of possibly doing something with my nickname, Zeke, which would be a way for us to, you know, kind of, I guess, make people recognize the name faster than just saying Zach's comics and games. It, you know, it was, it was like, let's do Zeke's comics and games. And that flowed very naturally. And the logo design work that my cousin Brian did for me, you know, we got to really do um, some good work together and, and, you know, a lot of the original art design stuff, like the new comic sign here in this picture, the logo, things like that were my cousin Brian's work. And it got me to help my family, my family to help me out while we designed it. But the shop idea originally came from my cousin Brian, who really wanted to see a shop like this happen. 
And we had done a podcast uh, called Talking Geek Retail. It was an episode. That's the title of the name of the show. And I was super frustrated when I moved in this area. I was like, you know, I think there's an opportunity here to do things differently. And in that episode, I really rant <laughs> more than normal. I rant and rave a lot about how I felt about the the current climate, the current market. And I there was things like, you know, simple things like meeting customers, VIP programs, community-based events, discussing with your clientele, making sure they're getting exactly what they want, being open-minded and dialogue to people's changes and needs, you know, willing to try new things and not just become stagnant and just be accepting of how you've done things. And I think that was like the key when I first opened was trying to find what, what isn't working in the other area uh, surrounding us, you know, what's not working for them and what's can be, what can work for us. And, you know, I, I bet on the shop and I bet on me that, you know, my personality and uh, you know, I thought that that could win a lot of people over because I've always been the type of person that tries to surround himself with a lot of friends and always very open and honest and blunt to a fault. And I've always thought that that in retail was like my favorite aspect of retail is when someone could just be straightforward and real with you. And that's kind of how I felt that Zeke should always be. Um, we're always going to be willing to tell you the truth on things, whether, you know, the product line's good, it's bad, it's indifferent. Uh, if we don't like it, if we love it, you know, we're not going to hide anything. We're not going to lie to you about something and tell you something that the corporate line's going to want us to say from the companies that we carry. So we've always really tried to, you know, reach out, whether it's like in these photos here, you know, we've, we've done school programs with the local high school and the grade schools doing, you know, learning how to do banking to how to play games to Dungeons and Dragons summer camps. We've done reading programs. Uh, you know, we've donated to different libraries in the area to really try to just push, you know, the narrative that, you know, you don't always have to do everything online and you can do some stuff for fun. And I've always found that great photo here. Uh, I've always found that a lot of people appreciate that honesty and they appreciate that openness of you willing to you know work with them and do things for the community and that i think has helped strengthen us from day one is that we had a willingness to reach out and you know go to the local theaters and do meet and greets and giveaways and and show up and and offer things that just you know you just didn't see from the local market uh you know and and and, and focusing you know the fact that we've moved twice since 2015 is a lot and i think that speaks you know huge uh gratification from me to see you know the the growth of the store over time to where you know i was working all the time by myself and tons of hours and making every decision by myself and doing everything you know and now it's like i have a wonderful staff of of people that take care of almost every need i have that makes my job now more about spending time with everybody. And what I've always felt I was the best at, which was talking to people, engaging people, having conversations with people. And I think that that's kind of what makes Zeke Zeke's. And I think from the origin of the plan, which was, you know, let's focus on local creators like this picture here of Cameron Johnson. Uh, you know, let's, let's find these guys that are grinding and doing the art and working their butts off to get out there and get their names out there. And let's do events together where we can help them promote their comics or their local art or, you know, we just pay for the Pokemon mural and, and, and all sorts of things like that to just really create that mindset of we are all in this together. Let's all have a cool space to hang out at and make sure that we all have a fun place to go to every single day of the week when the rest of the world can suck sometimes, you know, and, and that's, that was the, that was the vision in 2015. I was so frustrated by just not finding that shop and not that we're perfect and we are by by no means are we a perfect store we're not um and i think that's one thing that i try to tell everybody is no we're not perfect and we're not going to get everything right and we are continuously upgrading but it's this i see all these photos and there's like hundreds of people that i stay in contact with every day Every day, every night, I'm up till midnight, two in the morning, up at seven, eight, answering emails, answering Discord messages, Facebook messages, text messages from clientele, customers, friends. Um, and I think that's what makes us different. And I know that's insanity. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people understand how much time goes into doing something like this. But it's all about connection. It's about meeting these people and, and understanding their lives and what they're doing and trying to give them a home. 
that's away from home that they can play and make friends and laugh and have a good time together. Um, I think it's so important to the, the way the world is, is having that uh, physical and emotional connection that sometimes you just don't get from online gaming. A video, there's nothing wrong with video games. It's just, it doesn't have the same mindset, you know, as you're sitting across from a table at somebody you're having dialogue and, and you're working through math and problems and analytics and all this different stuff that comes with gaming. And especially comics too, you know, comics really introduced me to this whole entire thing and hobby. And there's so many cool situations and moments in our lives um, at the shop where little kids come in and start reading comics and it gets them to do better reading in school. And they show us the report cards and they're so excited when they come in. And these are like all the things that we've tried to build since day one in 2015, where I really wanted to stress giving those types of moments and memories and i think that's the success of the shop and where our retail isn't just retail you know it's more listening and working together and helping each other and being a part of it the other trick to what we do here at the shop is spending a lot of time you know willing to change and make changes for the customer clientele and what they want what they want to see and they want us to do and there's a lot of times where you, you know, you, you expect that you're going to go one way and you're going a completely different direction in six months to a year. And you have to learn how to be flexible doing uh, small business. And even if that's just crafts or, you know, running a small shop like what we do or anything that you do, um, I think you get what you put into things. It's not that there's not an answer for everybody type situation. But, you know, I talk to a lot of people who say, well, you have the dream job, you know, and you're right. I do have the dream job. Um, I get to do what I like. That's the dream, right? You, you work at stuff, but you know, they always say, you know, you don't work a day if you love what you do. And, and I don't ever feel like I'm working because I spend so many hours on the store, whether it's store planning events, orders, budgets for the quarter, talking about bigger events in a year or two from now and planning those, you know, sitting down with customers and having just sit down conversations, hanging out at their houses, spending time together with people, uh, going to cookouts, uh, becoming friends with a lot of people who I see of every day for the last eight years, uh, trying new games, traveling to other stores out of the state, going to business seminars, waking up every day to, like I said before, discord and messages and answering and being so open and transparent to people. You know, I think a lot of people don't see that as work. I don't think they ex they just expect it to be with the norm, but I think a lot of people take that for granted because I only had a couple of shops like that growing up that actually would put in that kind of time with you. A lot of stores don't, you know, you're just, you walk in, you're another number, you go home and then that's it. They don't care about what happened to you after that. And I've always felt like that was our success here. And our strength was that, you know, we're willing to bend and listen, but also, you know, we're here for you. And, and we do actually care and we do hire people based on personalities and, working with customers and, and, and building relationships with everybody. And, you know, I, I always felt like the shop was strong from a concept, but it, you know, it took time to get people to buy in on it. And sometimes people take it, you know, take advantage of it and have taken advantage of us um, from our friendships or our kindness. I've had people stop being friends with us because one thing or another, they felt like they weren't getting their due or there's other people who, um, the day we met them became fast friends and have never left our side. And we've got people who don't like our style and there's people who absolutely could not go anywhere else and they refuse to go anywhere else. And I think that is a dynamic that we do have to overcome sometimes is that we are so polarizing in that way where we are, you walk in and it's like, bam, we're there. We're on top of things and we want to talk to you and get you in and not upsell you on things you don't care about, but just get to know you and, and, and hope you enjoy our shop. You know, and that's, I think that's like the big key of the shop is, is spending those types of, of moments with everybody, uh, but also willing to bend when we need to bend, you know, and that's just kind of a overall, I think feeling of the shop as a whole is there's complexity to what we do every day and everything I talked about in 2015 that I really wanted to do for Zeke's comics and games. I think we've accomplished. I think we've been a store that had variety, I think we're a shop that has built a strong foundation of a community. I think we spent a lot of good years working on programs and things with the local market, like the schools and doing services for those things. 
I also think that we've done a, a good job at building loyalty programs, uh, our, like our earliest punch cards in 2015 to 2017 to our loyalty point program to our most recent uh, VIP premium program. You know, we've always been trying to expand ideas and how to stay competitive. Uh, in the last year or so, you know, we've spent time building a TCG player account to sell cards online. We've built an eBay account this year to get our uh, product out to more people and more shipping. You know, now we're building our YouTube channel and trying to create more content for our clientele that no one else in this market's doing. So there's a lot of little things like this that take extra time and it's not something that you're trained on how to do. And there's not, nobody just walks in all the time with this kind of knowledge. So there's so much time I spend learning these things and applying these things and being a part of, um, you know, bringing it a part of uh, Zeke's comics and games as a whole. And that's kind of the mindset I've always had of over everything we do is that how can we evolve? What can we change? You guys will see it all the time. You walk in the store and it's like, holy cow, what's different? You know, we just flipped the store like four weeks ago and people walked in and said, man, this is such a great idea. And it's like, yeah, I wish I had it a month ago <laughs> uh, before that. But sometimes you just don't see things. Sometimes it just takes time and money and, and you go, wow, that's a better idea. Let's try that instead. And that's one thing I've always tried to do. I, 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 you know, recently we had people coming to us and saying, Hey, you know, what else are you bringing in for knickknacks and things like that for Pokemon? Well, I'm bringing model kits in and bringing nano blocks in this week, uh, trying to bring in more toys, looking at di different distributors for that, um, bringing in more Gundam kits. Uh, we had a lot of requests for battle tech, uh, the miniatures game. So we're looking at different systems and things like that, that we're putting in the store, not necessarily because I like it, but because consumers are asking for it and trying to give them a place to play and enjoy and continue the ball rolling and keep us growing. And I think that's a lot of what comes down to working in a small business and comes into working into retail. You know, a lot of people that get into this industry, you just from, you know, going to so many seminars and talking to store owners and spending time with these people. And I can't give you a math, medical, like percentage of how many people this is, but a lot of people I've talked to are, they're fans and they never stop being fans and they never enjoy the business side of things. And they don't really craft and spend retooling themselves to get into those things. And I find that Zeke himself loves, and there's a joke in the store about how much I love my spreadsheets and I do. Um, but I love the analytics and I love planning and, and seeing the success of a well-run event or well, well-ran event, excuse me, where, you know, you have happy faces and, and money is being made and everybody's going home happy and it's such a success and you're looking forward to setting up the next one and how do you do better than the next one and honestly a lot of people don't like that some people don't like change and yeah there's some communities in the store that we're finding that hey you know if it ain't broke don't fix it and that's okay um but it doesn't mean that we're going to stop trying to innovate and i find that a lot of shop owners that i've talked to over the years they just get comfortable and they don't want to change things and they're content making with what they're making. But I look at the shop as an endless growth and excitement every day. I walk in and I go, all right, what do I do next? And sometimes I do lose myself in the moment. I don't enjoy the shop because the store isn't about me playing miniatures and playing cards and reading comics and sitting around all day. It's, it's really, it's so much more than that. And I hope you can hear this podcast and, and, and understand that, you know, it's, it's more to me about, how much can we do? We're not on this planet long and business isn't forever. And I know there'll come a day when the doors have to be shut in terms of what the modern Zeke's comics and games is, whether we sell it to somebody, we give it to somebody that works for us full time in the next, you know, X 20 years. If thankfully, if we're around, around that long, you know, if I'm retiring or whatever, and hopefully we're around for that, you know, you never know life can just happen. You can, get sick and horrible things and and you might just change your mind you know but i think that zeke's inherently is so challenging for me that i sink my teeth into it and i hope that if you're listening to this if you're into music or you're into art any type of crafting you, you've got a small business on the side or anything that you're enjoying and you want to make money at it but you also just love to do it the money comes eventually the endless hours and years I spent making nothing and reinvesting everything into the store will pay me dividends down the road. And now I am being paid. I'm not being paid anywhere I was before 2015 when I worked at uh, Red Bull. 
but I am making a living and I am enjoying myself and I love what I do every single day. And that's my recommendation for people. You find something you're good at. You find something you want to do, establish how you can be better and how you can be different from people and, and, and go out there and go after it. So, yeah, I think that's the most important part of this entire podcast is just, you know, lift yourself up and put the work in. I hate that so many people I know tell me, well, you know, just grinding on stuff and working on it's not going to make things better. And you're right. Sometimes luck does play a factor. Sometimes it is what life hands you. But you also have an opportunity every single day to make a change. And some people's paths are harder than others. Some people's are easier than others. But it's still what you do with your life. And I think that with Zeke's, every day is a new challenge. And I wish to continue to grind at that ore and keep mining and mining until I continue to get gem after gem after gem and just continue working. And that's that's the best thing that I can say about running the business and doing things for the store is trying to make it something that is special, that you'll never forget, and that it will forever be a part of your lives if you come to the store something that you'll look forward to telling you know your children about and you know or if you're listening your friends about or family or whoever i think that's what zeke's comics and games is most of all it's just family and it's community and it's friendship so i hope you guys enjoy this podcast i had a heck of a time trying to record this and edit stuff out and figured out how i wanted to say things um but i had a lot of fun going down memory lane a little bit and showcasing some things from the shop and uh yeah so thanks for listening guys make sure you check us out on zeke's cast uh, every single week we'll be posting up new videos and shorts the, the likes help us the views help us the subscriptions help us uh, get out there and get our name out there i hope you guys check out pokey dubs that's our resident uh, pokemon central themed training card game youtube channel uh, from our friend justin west pokey dubs is a phenomenal new channel he's doing such great work and we look forward to continue working with him and obviously i recommend folks like cameron johnson and fat rabbit studio and all the other artists that we work with in the area that you can find their products in our store And most of all, I hope you guys stay nerdy out there and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.